What is the difference between porosity and permeability in hydrogeology? Porosity and permeability are two important properties in the field of hydrogeology, which is the study of the movement and distribution of groundwater. While these terms are often used interchangeably, they actually refer to different aspects of the subsurface environment. Porosity refers to the amount of open space, or voids, in a rock or sediment. These voids can be filled with air or water, and are typically measured as a percentage of the total volume of the rock or sediment. Porosity is an important property in hydrogeology because it determines the amount of water that can be stored within a given volume of rock or sediment. Permeability, on the other hand, refers to the ability of a rock or sediment to transmit fluids. It is a measure of how easily water can flow through the pore spaces in the rock or sediment. Permeability is influenced by the size and connectivity of the pore spaces, as well as the properties of the fluids themselves. While porosity and permeability are related, they are not the same thing. A rock or sediment can have high porosity but low permeability if the pore spaces are not well connected, or if they are filled with fine-grained material that inhibits fluid flow. Conversely, a rock or sediment with low porosity can still be highly permeable if the pore spaces are large and well connected. Understanding the differences between porosity and permeability is important in hydrogeology because it affects the movement of groundwater through the subsurface. Highly permeable rocks and sediments allow water to flow more easily, while low permeability rocks and sediments can act as barriers to the movement of groundwater. This information is important for predicting the movement of groundwater and for managing water resources. How do these properties affect the movement of groundwater? Porosity and permeability are key factors in determining the movement of groundwater through the subsurface. Porosity is important because it determines the amount of water that can be stored within a given volume of rock or sediment. In highly porous materials, such as sand and gravel, water can move relatively easily through the pore spaces because there is a lot of open space available for the water to occupy. In contrast, in low porosity materials, such as shale or clay, there are fewer pore spaces available for water storage, so less water can be stored and less water can move through the rock or sediment. Permeability, on the other hand, is a measure of how easily water can flow through the pore spaces in the rock or sediment. Highly permeable materials allow water to move rapidly through the pore spaces, while low permeability materials slow down or stop the movement of water. This is because the size and connectivity of the pore spaces, as well as the properties of the fluids themselves, can all affect the ability of water to flow through the subsurface. In hydrogeology, the relationship between porosity and permeability is important for understanding how groundwater moves through different types of rocks and sediments. For example, an aquifer is a layer of rock or sediment that is both highly porous and highly permeable, which allows for large amounts of water to be stored and move through the subsurface. In contrast, an aquitard is a layer of rock or sediment that has low permeability and acts as a barrier to the flow of water, often trapping groundwater in the layer above. Understanding the porosity and permeability of different rocks and sediments is crucial for managing groundwater resources, as it can affect the availability and quality of water in a particular area. It is also important for predicting the movement of contaminants through the subsurface, as low permeability materials can act as a barrier to the spread of pollutants. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.